welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I paint a purple violet inspired design on this Mexican beach pebble. My name is Amy and if you like this video make sure you give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video before you leave. I am going to be using two flat brushes. They're A Magic flat brushes. And one is a number two, one is a number four. I'm going to be using a number four Deerfoot stippler, a fine liner by Westonia, it's a fingernail brush, and a dotting stylus. You can use anything to create dots with. You don't have to actually have a stylus. I am going to be using all folk art paints, combination of multi surface and enamels. This is Thicket eggplant, moon yellow, lime green, lavender, and wicker white. Alright, I've already cleaned off my pebble and I am going to go ahead and get started. I will be using the number four flat brush and I'm going to start off by creating the top part of my design with the lavender and I'm still sticking one side into the wicker white, one side into the lavender and then doing my blending strokes. Alright, and I'm going to start with my center design. I'm going to move my plate over here a little bit. Alright, so basically what I'm doing is just a very simple stroke. I'm going to push down on my brush, pull it up, do some wiggling, kind of do a little ripple at the top, and then come back down. Now, if you feel like the design isn't covered well enough, not opaque enough for you, feel free to go back over it, which is what I'm going to do here. You can also give it some drying time, hit it with a heat gun, whatever you need to do in order to get your design to be opaque and the consistency that you want it to be. Better coverage equals a more durable design. Okay, I'm going to come over this way and do a third petal. I'm just pushing it down, pulling it up a little bit, and then wiggling at the top and kind of doing a little, a little dip. And then bringing it up around. Now on the next one, I'm going to dip it into the eggplant, do a blending stroke and come down here do the same stroke and kind of bring it up like that and I'm going to do it again just to make sure I get good coverage do a little wiggle, bring it up, and bring it back and I'm doing it in a different color just to give it some interest you could do it all in the same in the lavender and the in the wicker white if you wanted to. That's up to you. I like to throw some other colors into my designs a lot of times. So, you know, again, that's up to you. You can do it all the way around the same color if you want. It doesn't matter. And I'm just kind of going over it to make sure I get the desired coverage that I want here. Okay. I think I like that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just do some little, I'm off my screen here, sorry, do some little, what I want to say, little buds pretty much. So I'm going to create the same thing, just kind of go up and back down like that. And then I'm going to come, now you can do this, and I think I'm going to do this, I didn't do it on my paper sample. But I am going to turn it this way so that the white is actually at the top. And the reason being is I want it to show up better. And I felt like 
when I did the other direction, it just blended in too much. So that's why I turned it. I'm going to go over here, do another one in that eggplant. Again, I'm going to push down, wiggle it a little bit. Come up and around and back down. And then I'm going to come back over again and just finish it up. Here we go. Now with the next two, I'm going to do it in the lavender. Just to kind of rotate it a little bit so they're not all the same. Come back over this way. I'm sorry if I'm not getting this in. Let me back it up a little bit. Sometimes I, I feel like I'm trying to get it in, but then I don't get it in because I have it too close. And then I'm going to come back over here and do the same thing. Hold up. These are my little buds. I'm going to go ahead and try it again here. Like that. Alright, so I have that in. Then I'm going to take my brush and use the next size of my stylus. It's actually smaller. Or not stylus, but my flat brushes, which is a number two. I'm going to double load using the Thicket and the Moon Yellow, just like I did on these. And I might even touch the yellow side into the white a little bit. I'm going to come up here and then just do some of my wiggle wiggle leaves. I'm sure there's a more and I'm going to dip some into the lime green as well. I'm certain that there's probably a more professional name for these. But that's what I like to call them. And then I'm going to just draw a little stem from the flower down right there and then repeat you want to give some interest reverse the colors so they're not all the same and then you can actually even come over here and go like this so that you have dark on one side and light on the other side and it creates even another visual and then come down here with that just like that. All right, we're going to do one more. I'm going to come down here towards the bottom and do another one. And I'm just doing again, doing the wiggles. And then coming over here, I'm going to fill it in. I grabbed a little purple from the flower, which is fine. You can actually add another color into this. You don't have to stick with just the greens or the yellows or whatnot. Adding an accent color from the flower is actually very pretty. It can be very pretty. All right, so then I'm going to come over here to my little, my little buds and then do my typical thing. I'm kind of finding that this is something I really really like to do. I used to do them differently. And when you do this, if you want, just to add some other color to it. You can turn your brush and make that happen. Just have a variety of color in them. I think it makes it look pretty. And if you don't like to create a lot of leaves, because I do, feel free to lighten up on that if you want, because I could go overboard, and I'll be the first to admit it. Now I'm just pulling these because it's such a small area, I'm just going to have these pulled towards the the main flower. Again, I'm just kind of pulling and some other yellow. You could even add some of that darker purple into it if you wanted to. 
white and putting a little white into it. They don't all have to look the same, or they can. Up to you. And just keep in mind, if you want, whatever color you want to show up, it's, it's the one that's going to be on the furthest, and you pull. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but that's how it does. That's how it rolls. This one, I am going to put a little bit of that eggplant in. Because the next thing I'm going to do is actually be pulling in some little leaves. I might scrape my paint off just a smidge. And then I'm going to come over here, do the same thing. You can see there's just a slight bit of that eggplant in there. You can actually go back over it if you want. Put some white in there. Or go back over it, put a little bit more of the eggplant in there. Um, if you don't want to add any more leaves in there, that's fine, because there's quite a few for that space. That's great. And then I'm going to do a little bit of uh, that same thing here. I do like a little of that eggplant in here, though. I think it's pretty. Great little addition. And see, it, it's it's not all the same. You know, when you vary these colors like this, you're getting a little bit. They're not all identical. And I'm just coming back and just putting a little stem in these, like that. And then if you find that you just want to do some filling in, you can. Just kind of add some here and there. That's fine as well. I really like adding that purple. All right, I might just add another one right here. My dog is upstairs getting into stuff. Mama's finished. Almost finished. But you can keep going as you can see. It's kind of uh, mind-boggling. I'm going to go ahead and take my little my little uh, fine liner. I'm going to go ahead and do this part first. And add this into this. I did not know what she's getting into. See, I love this brush. If I had any brush to do any kind of design work with, it would be this brush. Just so easy to work with, and I can get, get it to look the way I want it. The center is going to be the moon yellow, and I'm going to tap it in, just like that. I am going to put a little bit of the eggplant on the heel of this brush. Kind of tap that in. I don't know what she's getting into. And then I always like to tap in a little bit of white to she's doing. Okay. And there you go with that. You can take the little stylus. And then just put some of your fun little dots. I think she's getting into the trash. Sorry about that, guys. She's staring me. All right. And then I would take, just put a couple little dots in here. A couple little dots in each one of these. And you can alter the color if you want to maybe do the yellow instead. That would be fine. If you want to even get even more creative, come out and do some dots outside, which I think is a just a fun little twist, just to add, fill in some of the space, add some little interest to your design. 
um, can even come out around some of the buds and just be careful you don't stick your hands in or your fingers because I'm really good at that very good at that alright I'm going to do one more I'm going to have it come out like this and then we'll be done so I don't want to keep you too long here you know if you don't like the dots then leave them off definitely don't have to do that all right I think we're done for now if you like this video make sure you give me a big thumbs up new to my channel make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell and before you leave share this on your social network with all your family and friends very simple just hit that share button you'll find underneath the video and it will give you the options that you have where you can share it easy peasy all right thanks again for stopping by i appreciate you taking the time and until the next time please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one